Hi everyone, today we're back on the Xbox as a homeowner. It's a beautiful morning here in Griffin, Indiana. I stopped by local farmer's market to pick up a fresh dozen eggs. And I also stopped by the local hardware store. So why don't we hop back in the Lizard XJ, get on back to house, and get going on a few projects. Driving this old XJ around town is quite a bit of fun, especially it being a manual here. But up on the roof, you guys can see I got a new tow recovery rope which is going to be perfect for off-roading here. Uh, one of my buddies and I took this off-roading last week, and we had a lot of fun here. But having a tow rope uh, will be helpful just in case we get stuck. And actually, I was helping someone else get unstuck on the trails there, which is uh, quite a bit of a challenge, but we were able to help the person out. If you guys end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. And all the mods featured in today's video are public and can be found on the in-game mod hub. We're just now getting back here to house and the grass guys is looking awesome here. I mean take a look at that, no weeds. And I mean it looks really good here. Put a little bit of fertilizer down but really quickly guys. I do want to say that the local farmer came over and asked if I was willing to sell the property. He He's looking to buy a new farmhouse and he really did like it. So let me know down below guys. Should we end up selling and moving and building a new house? Let me know your feedback down below here. But one thing guys that I am super, super excited for here is that we actually had a lot of new uh, mods arrive in boxes here for the TOX 1982. This truck guys was once a barn find and we're restoring it back to good condition here but I also want to do some mods to it so what we're going to do guys is we're going to change out the mirrors to tow mirrors and we are going to be getting upgraded front and rear bumpers. I want something a little bit stronger and also the back bumper is actually damaged here as well. Uh, there's a lot of rust in that so we'll be getting some new bumpers here so why don't we get working on that and we'll put up to the garage here where the toolboxes are. This old truck is a lot of fun to work on here. I put a new battery in it, uh, went through the truck, and this starts up on the first crank here. But I'm going to run to a toolbox here that's in the front of the truck. I'm going to get this rolled outside. And this has all the wrenches here, and the boxes are on the other side of the garage. So let's put the new bumpers on. It took a few hours, but we're all set. Wow, take a look at that, guys. These bumpers really did change the look of the front of the truck here. I really do like the off-road bumper with the winch and those extra uh, kind of tow hooks hanging there. We did get some extra lights here, which is really going to help us on out. And for the rear, I got a matching bumper here, and I think that does look pretty cool here. And last up, guys, I was able to get original tow mirrors. I bought these off Marketplace for a few hundred dollars here. It looks like... I don't think we're going to have any problems with that here. This thing looks so cool here. You could actually see some extra lights there, uh, which is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, definitely a neat upgrade here to the truck, but why don't we leave that there? I do also want to give you a quick update on the uh, Lizard 3-wheeler. We picked this up last week, pretty cheap here at a good price, so I went through it. I did a full engine tune-up on it here, and I actually had to repair one of the tires uh, since there looked to be a nail in it or something like that here. And I also, I want to bring the seat to get it uh, reupholstered to get new leather on the seats here. Maybe a little bit of touch-up paint, but this thing, guys, is looking really cool. It's a lot of fun to ride. It has a lot of power for a small thing here, but guys, what we're going to do now is something... I've been looking forward to for quite some time, and that is we are going to go buy a camper so we could go uh, off-road camping here. So why don't we take the TLX 2022? Let's head on over to a dealer. Camping is a lot of fun here, and I've been looking for the right camper here. I want something that we could take on off-road trails, something with good ground clearance. But also not something too big here where we need an even bigger truck for. And I think this is it, guys. And uh, this is super exciting here because I really want to go camping as uh, springs here. And the uh, uh, dirt bike tracks and all those different trails are going to be opening up here for us. And we're going to have a lot of fun uh, this summer. Mm -hmm. 
look at that guys they have it right out front here for it's the new camper here which is super exciting so this is a off-road camper here it's a single axle i believe it is about 12 feet long and it is a bumper pole here i mean this thing looks sweet here look at the ground clearance on this thing as well that is going to be really handy here we got a big rack up top there to have all our extra luggage uh fishing rods anything we need up there here which is pretty cool now i'm not sure uh if we'll be able to uh, kind of put a dirt bike up there but with it being bumper pole we could probably put the dirt bike in the back of the truck let me go do the paperwork so it officially becomes ours here we'll do a full walk around on it once we get the keys and we'll get this thing opened up to uh, check it out the paperwork guys was quite quick here which is awesome so we'll get it attached here even with a big kind of lifted truck here it is even tricky I will have to say here but let's see if we get this folded all the way up here I really want to check this camper out show you guys just how cool this is here so you guys can see we got storage here in the first half of it which is pretty cool we got it an extra storage for tie downs uh different things like that uh for uh, luggage here but you guys can see we got a little kitchenette we have a table here and uh you guys can see if we come around to this side we have a bed around back here it's kind of a couch built into a bed i mean that is so cool having that you guys can see I mean, this is perfect. It gets us out of weather. We do have a little bit of AC, a little bit of heat, and this is pretty luxurious to go off-road camping on some pretty far trails off the main roads here. But let's get on back here to the house, and we'll take a, a, a closer look here at it. And I gotta start to book a camping trip now. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. Drop how it is going down below here. My day's been pretty awesome. And guys, I've been super excited for the Xbox videos here. We've been getting a lot more cool mods. And we have a lot of cool videos here in the works for the different series. But an off-road camper like this, guys, is super cool. These are actually quite popular in the town we live in. There's so many off-roading trails, so many hiking trails. And a camper like this opens up so many opportunities if you would say to have a lot of fun here definitely go on weekend camping trips even uh uh camping trips with the family here but there we have it guys we got the new camper home so i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna see when the earliest is we could go camping so until next time guys thanks for watching stay tuned for our next one and subscribe for more